I left her house and I walked. I was hurt. I was crying. She was shouting uh, after me. You inward baby. I never wanted you. You inward baby. Loud as she could. I was ashamed. I was embarrassed. Here I am a grown fucking man crying about my fucking mother. 25 years old at the time, crying about my fucking mother. I just walked. I had no place to go. It was cold as shit. I didn't care. I was numb. I, got in, I didn't feel nothing. And the further I walked, the further away her voice got, and the better I started to feel. And, and my go-to was always taking it out on myself. My go-to was always hurting myself. So I, I you know, I sat down. I punched the, uh, the pavement. My knuckles were, were, were bleeding. I didn't feel it. It felt good to have some release. It felt good to feel pain someplace else besides my fucking heart, besides my soul. It, it, it felt good. Then I took a deep breath and just sat there for a moment. And even though that wasn't the ending that, 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 that I wanted, it helped me a little bit. It helped me heal to know that she was the monster. It was always her fault. I was always enough. She just wasn't enough for me. It took me a long time to realize that she wasn't enough for me. My father wasn't enough for me. It was never my fault. It was always them. Then I, then I started to, to move on. I, I started to live my life. I started to heal a little bit. I started to, to date and I started to, you know, to get my life together. Right, I, I went back to school, I got college degrees, started writing my books, and then I, I met my wife. And that beautiful soul, my wife, her love has healed me in ways that I could never fucking repay. She saw this broken man and saw worth in me, you know? And that is an awesome feeling when, when you know you're fucking broken. And she still sees worth in you. You know, her and I were both broke, but we made a life together. And, and now we're successful and we're happy. But I remember when, I, when we had our, our first kid. I reached out to my mother. I don't know why I did, but I'm thinking maybe she's happy she has a grandchild. Sent her a picture. She says she doesn't claim any inward grandbabies. I never spoke to her again after that, ever again. And then, not too long after that, I got a phone call from my brother saying her mother had passed. 